channel I'm sweetie love New York and today today I have an excited video for you today I'm going to show you guys how I prepare um, my breakfast for my girls so today we're gonna do cabbage with saltfish some people call it um, codfish but we call it saltfish is the same thing and I'm gonna do fried dumpling fried dumplings like a dough that the meal um what do you call it? What I'm trying to say? It's a dough that they put together and then it's like biscuit. So they do it, meal it together and then they fry it. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that I have to make the, the breakfast. So we started off, we have the cabbage. This is a whole green cabbage. I get it at my local um, Korean market. So this is the cabbage that I'll be using today. And with the cabbage I have my carrots and all of my seasonings. So I have my carrots, my scallion, some garlic, some sweet peppers. I have the red one, I have the green one, I have my tomato, my honey and a yellow onion, and some thyme. And for the, um, the cabbage as well, I had codfish. This is codfish that I was telling you guys about. So this is a codfish. I'm gonna boil it and then I'm gonna stir fry it with my seasoning here so I'll put this aside and then I'll just use in my stir fry so these are these are the ingredients um I just have a little onion powder some Italian seasoning garlic powder a little lorry seasoning but I'm not going to use a lorry seasoning instead I'm going to use a Malaysia pink salt I'm going to use that instead and I'm gonna use my coconut oil. Coconut oil tastes so good with it. Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. It just brings out the flavor and the taste and all that good stuff. So these are the ingredients and I have my flour here. This is the flour that I use. Is this the regular um, our purpose flour? So this is the flour that I'm gonna to use to make the dumpling. So these are all of my ingredients. I have my cabbage, my carrots and all of them. All of the good stuff so first I'm going to I'm going to turn on my stove because first you need to soak what I did guys I soaked the saltfish because you know saltfish they they salt it to keep it so I soak it overnight when I get up in the morning I throw off that water that I left it over overnight and then I just put fresh water on it so now I'm going to turn on my stove and I'm just gonna boil it just a little. I'm just gonna boil it for like five minutes and then I throw that out. But I show you guys as I go along what um, the steps by step. So first I'm gonna wash my hand. Make sure you always wash your hand. And because of what's going on now, you gotta be really careful. Whatever you touch, whatever you do, just make sure you wash your hand. And that's something that I practice for years, you know, all the time. Everyone should know to wash your hands before you start cooking. Make sure your nails are clean. When you turn it off, when you go, when, guys, let me give you a, a tip. When you wash your hands, right? You wash your hands for 20 seconds. Da, 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 okay, when you finish washing your hands, you don't use this part of your hand to turn off the pipe. You use the back of your hand like this and turn off the pipe. Okay, I'm going to reach for my paper towel. I should have my paper towel over here, but oh well. So I'm going to dry my hand. So now I'm just going to remove all of these stuff out of the way because all these stuff out of the way because I'm going to show you guys how I make the dumpling. So I'm just going to transfer these stuff onto my table. Yeah, I'm just going to take these stuff out of the way. Guys, you know in New York apartment, <laughs> we don't have much space. New York apartment, we... Everyone that lives in New York know how it goes. You got a little tiny space and you just have to learn to work with it. So first, let me get my bowl. So this is the ingredients that you need for, for the, um, to make that dumpling. 
Hi guys, so this is the measuring um, cup that I'm going to use. It's, it measure one cup. So my girls don't eat a lot. So I won't be just using one cup. So I'm going to be using like three cups of um, cup flour. So that's one. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Uh, yeah, so see, um, two. I should have gotten something to put this in, but I'm not going on the road. I'm staying inside. I'm being obedient. Three. So I'm going to do about four cups. So, you know, the, the kids are home, so they can eat this all day because it's going to be so good. It's so tasty. This is one of their favorite, favorite meal, but I don't do it that often because the dough is fried. So, yeah, so this is about four cups of flour our puffers flour and then this is my the baking powder so the baking powder so baking powder sorry guys so i'm just gonna use um normally i would eyeball it but because of i'm showing you guys what to do i'm gonna use about two or three teaspoons of this all right because you don't want the dough to be very hard you want to be soft and you know fluffy so this is one two three four so about four and then and then guys and then I'm just gonna add a little salt to it so remember we're trying to be healthy so we're not gonna use a lot of salt you don't have to use a lot of, a lot of salt if it was just me eating it, I wouldn't use any salt, but because I'm doing it for the girls, I'm going to use salt. So, this is the uh, Malaysia pink salt. So, I'm just going to do like one, two, three, four. Yeah, not a lot. Oh, and guys, I forgot one thing. I put a little butter in it. So, the butter of my choice is, I can't believe it's not butter. One second. Let me get my butter. So the butter is, I can't believe it's not butter. I'm just going to get the butter out and um, I'm just going to use not much, but uh, the butter is, I can't believe it's not butter. So probably like one tablespoon. Yeah, just a little dash. Not too much because even though it's good, we're going to try to make it a little bit healthy. You know, once in a while, it's not going to hurt you, you know. So, that's, so these are all the ingredients. So, first we have the flour, our purpose flour, and we have four tablespoons of baking powder, a little salt, and a little butter. So, guys, one second. Look over here. So, this is the codfish. So, I just going to just boil it. So, I just need the water to boil up a, a little bit, and then I will turn that off. So, that will be fine over there. So this is all the ingredients. So this is all the dry ingredients. So normally when you're making this dough, how I was learned to, how I was taught how to make it, you use cold water so the dough will set faster. So I'm gonna go and get some water from my refrigerator. Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna make my dough. So I just try to just break up the, um, the butter to just strip it throughout the, um, the flour. So how my mom showed me how to make the, um, the dough, you don't pour a lot of water in at once because you don't want it too soft. So you use a little water at a time. So I'm just going to pour a little and you just, you know, oh guys, I forgot to tell you, I use a glass of water, but if I'm finished, if the water is finished and it still need more water, I just get more water add to it. So I'm just going to just small amount of water. So I'm using one cup of water now. If I need more, I would just go and get some more. Because you see, the dough is kind of dry. You want it not too dry and not too wet. So I'm just, yeah. Make sure your nails are clean, guys. You can't have long nails. You can't have no acrylic or whatever you call it. You can't have none of those. Short nails and make sure it's clean. Because people are very funny when you eat from them. Especially when you eat like these kind of food. Yeah. 
so you see the dough is really dry so I'm gonna pour all of this one in and this massage it in yes that's the word I'm trying to make all everything comes together that's the whole idea but it seems like I need some more water so I'm gonna get some more water so right now I'm multitasking so right now guys over here my codfish is ready so I'm gonna turn off the stove for that it's ready now because I already stoked it so all the salt is out so I'm just gonna go get some more water Okay, hey guys so I'll get some more water and I'm just gonna continue to kneel my dough it's, it's kind of like a little technique in it because you don't want it too hard and you don't want it too soft because then it will stick to your hand so this is like a workout guys <laughs> guys listen we can't go to the gym now because everything is locked down so this is a good cardio workout because right now my hand is like my hand is doing it yes i'm just trying to put it together this is a good workout yeah so i think this is so you see guys everything is coming together now oh wow this is a good workout i can feel my arms so you see that everything is coming together nicely yes So guys, the key with this making this dumpling, who oh, child, you know what to do. You want to go? Yes, guys. So you see, it's coming together. Yes. So the key with making this dumpling, you want the dough to be smooth. So you see, like this now, it kind of has the little cracks on it. That's not good. So you just gonna knead it. Is that the right word? Then, you know, some people tell you, oh, that's not the right word, but. We are all here to learn. Everything is a learning process. We are not perfect. We are here to teach each other. To make each other better. A better human being. And when you think you know it all, that's where the problem lies. Because we don't. Wow, it's coming together, guys. So, you're going to let the door rest. Yes. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get a cling wrap and I'm gonna cover it yeah I don't want to waste it go okay guys so everything is finished with the dumb the dough now which is the fried dumpling so I'm gonna put this aside let it rest and I'm gonna start on the codfish and cabbage so when I come back okay, okay guys so this is the dough everything is finished I'm gonna let it rest for like 15 minutes it could be longer but because for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna let it rest for like 15 minutes I'm gonna make my cabbage and codfish and then I'll be right back okay so oh. hi guys welcome back it's your girl sweetie love New York so now I'm gonna do the cabbage and the codfish so over here the codfish is already boiled so I set that aside so now I'm going to work on my um, my seasoning. So I have my um, red pepper, green pepper, yellow onion, my thyme, scallion, carrots, garlic, and tomatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up all of these and then I'll come back. Hi guys, welcome back. This is your girl, Sweetie Love New York. So I already prep everything. Magic. <laughs> so here we have the cabbage this is a whole cabbage and these are the, um, the grape tomato so I use like six tomato this is um scallion I use like four or five stalks of scallion three carrots this is a whole yellow onion some red half of green peppers red peppers my garlic that I mince up here and this is my thyme and over here I have the codfish 
which some people call it selfish. Same thing. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of my seasoning in my pot. In this pot I have, this is my wong. In here I have coconut oil. So I'm just going to get my spoon and then I'm just going to, I don't want it to make a lot of noise because I don't want my smoke detector to go off. So you might not hear that shoe soccer. Hi guys, so as you can see, I had paused the video just to combine my seasoning in the pot. So in here, as I said to you before, I have scallion, onion, sweet pepper, thyme, garlic, and the carrot. So I'm just going to let this cook probably about like 5 to 10 minutes or less. And I'll come back to you guys when it's finished, okay? Okay guys, I'm back. This is your girl, Sweetie Love New York. So as you can see, my seasonings are already cooked. So now I'm going to add my codfish in it. Spart it. And just break it up. And just combine it. It looks so good, right? Oh my goodness. Guys, if you could smell it. Mm -mm -mm. We should have smell a television. Is that a word? <laughs> but it looks really good. It tastes really good. It's coming along. And the codfish. Um, I'm gonna see how salt it is because, guys, we don't want it too salt. So I'm just gonna taste it. Mmm, just right. Just right. So, guys, I'm just gonna add my seasoning now. Let's put this aside. So remember, it's codfish, also known as saltfish. So I'm not going to put too much salt. I'm just going to put a lot of salt. Because the key is that you, you season it, but you don't want to put too much salt in it. So I'm just putting a little garlic powder, onion powder, sorry. A little onion powder. Some black pepper. No, some Italian seasoning, sorry. Oh, I need a little black pepper. Some Italian seasoning. I love Italian seasoning. This is my new, one of my new favorite seasons to use. I don't know how I start using it. I don't remember, but it's really good. And I'm just reaching in my cupboard for some ground black pepper. A little black pepper. I'm missing anything? No, I don't think so. Oh, and a little garlic powder. Now this is a garlic powder. I made a mistake and said garlic powder before. But this is the garlic powder. So now, I'm just going to combine it together. Let me turn on my flame. So now I'm just going to just combine everything together so I can get the, all of that spice that I put in it just now. To get it all marinated in it. Mmm, smells so good. It looks so good too. Alright. So I'm gonna wash my hand because I'm gonna put a cabbage in it. Okay, guys, I'm back. So now I'm just gonna combine the cabbage into all of this mixture right here. Mmm. Look at the cabbage. It looks so good. And guys, what I use to get the cabbage like this, normally old school they'll use a knife with a cutting board, but I have this little gadget right here. That's what I use to slide it. And here it has different guide. So this one is three, which is, you'll get it much bigger. This is two, you know, a medium, and this is small, and then you locked it. Because it has a blade here, so you can cut it yourself. So when you finish with it, you lock it. So that's what I use to get my cabbage looking so professionally done. So now I'm just going to combine everything together. All the mixture together. Mm -mm. Look at the color, guys. The... The carrot give it that orange color look at it and then the different seasoning the onion with the scallion and the sweet pepper tomato so now I'm just gonna turn up my flame a little bit more because with cabbage it doesn't take long to cook you know some people like it very crunchy or crispy some people say and some people just like it you know very soft we like it in between so I'm just gonna add more cabbage to it so guys I'll come back to you when I'm finished adding everything and I'll see you in a bit 
hi guys it's your girl again sweetie love new york so as you can see the cabbage um is finished so this is my cabbage with codfish and put on this thing <laughs> sorry as you can see the different colors it looks so good so in this just a little recap so this is sawfish codfish with carrots and green cabbage stir fry i had tomato onion scallion thyme and sweet pepper and green pepper so that's basically it guys it's finished i'm sorry that you guys are not here to taste it but you can take my word it's delicious it's to die for it's really good see and i use coconut oil so you see the bottom of it there's no oil it's not oily yeah because you know you want to be healthy at the same time as enjoy your food you know something tastes good delicious and tastes good in your tummy all right guys so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to turn off the stove for this and the next thing i'm going to do I take it away i'm going to get my dumpling so this is my um this is the, the fried dumpling as we know it. So let me wash my hands. As you can see over here I already start the process. I already have my pot with the oil. My stove is on. Okay guys, a key to doing a fried dumpling, right? You want the oil to be hot. You want enough oil that the dumpling will cover the oil, but not too much because it's a lot of grease. So, and then you want your flame to be as low as possible. So make sure the, the oil is very hot at first. And then as you proceed, you turn on the stove. So right now my, my stove is on three. So it's kind of like a medium to low. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do it. And then I'll come back to it you so over here so this is the dough that I had made early on I let it rest for now I said 15 minutes but guys I think it's more than 15 minutes so now I'm just you know making it manageable so I can show you guys how I do it so you just want to you know roll it up in this like a hand size so this will be like a hand yeah a hand size so what i normally do is in order for to get it at the same size i just do all of it at once so i would just pinch it off highball it so then if you have a get if you have guests and company over and at least you can like estimate it and see how much dumpling you have and how far it will go if you don't have enough you could add some plantain some breadfruit some bread anything you want so this is how we do it this is how my mom showed me how to do the dumpling. So first you you get it, you hold it. This is my I'm right-handed, so I have this in my right hand and my palm is open. So what she showed me to do, you rest it in your palm and you roll. It's a technique to it, guys. You just roll and like maneuver your finger in the middle. So you roll, maneuver your finger in the middle. And try to get it smooth so it look presentable. You don't want it to look all rugged and stuff. And then you say, okay, then. So you roll and put it like that. Da, 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 da. So then you use your index finger or your thumb and you go like this. Why you do it like this? So the hole that's in it, you kind of like push it out. And then you turn it over and you just put it back the other way. And that's it. And then you put it in the oil. And as I told you before, the hot is going to be hot, but you got to turn on your stove because you don't want it to brown. You don't want it to burn. You want to get it crystal brown. So I'm just going to flip it because I don't want it to burn. So I'm just going to continue doing what I showed you before, and then I'll come back to you when I'm finished. Guys, I'm back. This is Sweetie Love, your girl, Sweetie Love, New York. So this is the, it's not quite finished, but... This is what um, it looks like so far. So in here we have all the dumplings. I put the flame on low because 
the dough you want the dough to cook you don't want inside to be uncooked or other terms raw meaning that the flour inside is very mushy and it's not cooked fully so that's why it's turned on the stove some people like it a little bit brown than others we like it crystal brown so I'm just going to turn on the stove a little bit more and I come back to you when I'm finished so this is the fried dumpling all right guys okay guys I'm back so this is a finished product oh my goodness I must say I'm so happy that it came up it turned out really well the flavor is popping look at the golden fried dumpling so beautiful so this is my cabbage codfish and fried dumpling um, recipe this is supposed to be breakfast but it's after 12 so this is no brunch so we're gonna have it with avocado I'm gonna go plate it and then I'll be right back okay guys I'm back so this is my finished product this is my selfish fried dumpling and cabbage it's plate with side of um, avocado we love avocado so I just want to take this time out to thank all of you guys who take the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video and for those who not subscribe please subscribe to sweetie love new york don't forget to like comment hit that notification button so whenever i upload a video you'll be notified of a new and upcoming video and subscribe and be a part of the sweetie fan thank you guys have a pleasant and productive day thank you mm -hmm.